Good day, it's Pastor Chris from Salt Church in Spain. Our congregation are continuing to do some messages of encouragement and today I want to introduce you to our worship leader, Marcia Brigadier, who's doing an encouragement on position yourself. Hello everyone. When Pastor Chris asked me to share something with you, my first reaction was, oh no, 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 really no. However, when I got home from church on Sunday morning, I was reminded of two little words that dropped into my spirit a few days earlier. It was as I woke up, and usually when I wake up, there's usually a song or the line of a song on my heart that stays with me for the whole day. But on this particular day, I just got the words, position yourself. I couldn't force a song over it, it was just there, position yourself. So I was like, really? Position myself? What for? What's going to happen? Will it be something big? How do I know what I've got to do? Questions, questions, more questions. Then I gave myself a good talking to, and I reminded myself that Father God has a plan, and he has my back. All he has asked me to do is position myself. Anyway, here we are today, and I'm passing these two words on to you. Position yourself. We're just coming out of lockdown, looking forward to the new normal. But what will that mean for us, both personally and as a fellowship? Will it be business as usual, same old, same old? Or is he asking us to position ourselves, to take up a new position, or even to get back into position for this next chapter of our lives. I'm sure we could have lengthy discussions about what the phrase position yourself might mean. But the first thing it means to me is get ready. Get ready for battle in the spiritual realm. And to be ready for the battle in the spiritual realm, we have to be clothed with the full armour of God. So I'm going to finish this by reading Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, a portion of scripture that I'm sure you all know very well. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armour so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armour, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armour of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Position yourself. Sounds more like a challenge than an encouragement, to be fair. But if we're in the right position, then God can use us. Be strong in the Lord and stay alert. God bless.